Alexa, pause. Someone should give you a ribbon. Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. My name is Kristen Faith. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. Today is going to be a highly productive vlog. We're going to empty out my fridge. We're going to clean my fridge. We're going to go grocery shopping. We're going to restock the fridge and we're just going to make my kitchen feel aesthetic and beautiful and a little more like this rather than like this. The goal is to romanticize my life, to feel aesthetic, to feel like I'm living in a literal Pinterest board. So let's see what we're working with right now. As you can tell, the fridge situation, not really beautiful usually i feel like i'm pretty good at having like a clean organized fridge but this has become absolutely unbearable to the point where it literally gives me anxiety like on a daily basis i wake up and i'm like i don't want to clean out that fridge so without further ado let's clean out this awful fridge i'm not excited let's try to do a thumbnail moment yeah, I think that's good. Why do I always feel stupid when I do thumbnails? I'm like, we're gonna start cleaning out the fridge, but I just wanna say, it looks like I'm throwing out a lot of stuff. I recently got weight loss surgery. I can't really eat a lot, so food has been going bad very quickly. I'm going to try to do better, but my stomach and my mind, they're not functioning on like the same level. Like my mind wants me to get all of this food that I cannot finish, and then my body is like, hey girl, one meal is gonna take seven times for you to eat it. So those are my excuses, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me for wasting a bunch of food, but let's throw all of this away. And if you're curious what I'm listening to, I'm listening to Girl Talk by Adeline Morin, and then I think I'm gonna listen to A Better You Podcast by Fernanda Ramirez, because those are my favorite people, like literally my favorite people, my inspirations, if you must. Anyway, I just, I'm like rambling, so let's just, let's get into it. I feel like a bad person. I literally feel like a bad person because I'm wasting so much food. So this is the food that I am keeping. Most of it is literally drinks and then like miscellaneous items. Over here I have all of the stuff that needs to be washed and I'm not excited about emptying them because they have all gone rancid. But yeah, let's stall and clean the fridge. fridge is officially all cleaned out but that means it's time to pick up this mess and wash those dishes and throw away all of this trash so let's just get to cleaning I can't stall anymore I've been stalling for a month 
the next morning. Good morning and welcome to the next day. Yesterday, I was going to clean and go grocery shopping and do all of that, but we did have a bit of a family emergency. So I very quickly put everything back in the fridge and we will be organizing that today after we go grocery shopping. I did kind of clean up the kitchen. Are we surprised that this morning it's a mess again? Not one bit. So let's do like a quick little cleaning time lapse. Something about you supernatural. I get goosebumps every time you call. Got me running through my fantasies. 40 West, I'm doing 93. Tell me where the sparks come from. Don't know that we both bring some. Doing something that I can't explain. Lately, no, I'm not the same. You're just like magic. Now that we're done with kind of cleaning up the kitchen a little bit, the next thing I wanted to do was clean all of my containers. I literally got every single one of them out. And yeah, it's been a while since I've used these. Usually I like to have everything like all cute and organized and looking like a little Pinterest board, but that hasn't been the case. So they're a bit dusty and a bit cruddy from all of my protein shakes when I had my surgery. Let's get into washing them. <laughs> I'm back from the store and I have everything here. I'm so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Let's do like a little grocery haul. First things first, because I feel like it's the star of the show. The first thing I got was this watermelon. I would buy just like a normal watermelon and then cut it up. That's what I usually do, but I was kind of scared that I wouldn't get like a really ripe one. So I don't know. I'm like, I feel bougie today. I got the bougie watermelon. The next thing I got were these granola bars from Kodiak. I've been really trying to get in my protein with my surgery that I just had and it's not going great. So I was like, let's try these. They said they're similar to Hidden Valley, but I'm not Hidden Valley. They said that they're similar to Nature Valley bars, except for they're smaller. So that got me excited because obviously I can't eat a lot after my stomach surgery. So we're gonna try these. Going off of the protein conversation, I got some PB2. I didn't know if I should get PB2 or if I should get PB Fit, but this one was there and it was like the size that I wanted. So I just got this one, I don't know. Some people say it's good, but like every time I listen to healthy people, I'm very disappointed with how things taste. Next thing I got was frozen broccoli for my boyfriend. The next thing I got were these Eric's jalapeno cheddar sausages. I'm literally obsessed with these. Like since I was a child, hot links and these are my favorite. Like they're so good. They didn't have these at Walmart and I literally almost cried. Um, and I tried a different brand, it was horrible. So stick to these. Y'all need to try these if y'all haven't. 
The next thing I got were these bagel thins. Honestly, it's really hard for me to eat anything like bready or anything like that. So like a normal bagel, that would wipe me out. And I kind of just wanted to try these because they look really thin. And yeah, I got them because I love making like bagel sandwiches or making like BLTs. And I was really in the mood for like a sandwich. To go with the sandwich, I'm just gonna do a little rapid fire of stuff that I would put on my sandwich. So first off, tomato. We love a tomato. Tomato with like salt and pepper and like maybe a little bit of lemon. Mwah, delicious. Next, we have the most beautiful lettuce in the land. Like if you want to show off your lettuce, like you're having like a girl's day, you want the lettuce to be popping, looking beautiful, looking bright green, get butter lettuce. It's literally so perfect. I feel like the cleanup is also so much easier because it's just in this little, this little thing. You take off the dirt and it's fine. I also got some pepper jack cheese. It's my boyfriend's favorite cheese. Speaking of cheese, I got regular cream cheese and then I got one third less fat cream cheese because I am doing stuffed jalapeno peppers for my sister's birthday and she likes regular cheese. I like this one. I don't know why it got two different brands. I wanted to see if they like taste similar. With making jalapeno poppers, obviously you need bacon and you need jalapenos. I also might use like a couple of these for some sandwiches um, because bacon's just delicious on sandwiches. Then I got a bell pepper. I don't really love any other color of bell pepper other than green, but I'm like obsessed with green bell pepper, like roasted or like put in like a fajita moment. Like I love green bell pepper or like stuffed bell peppers, so good. So I just thought I would chop this up put it in the freezer and then use it whenever I need it. I also got an avocado because I really wanted like a pico de gallo with avocado moment or to eat it on a bagel or I don't know, to just eat it alone, honestly. Like I really like avocado. Sometimes I get like an avocado ick, but I'm really in my avocado moment. Next, I got a lime and I was supposed to get a lemon, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think I forgot about it. So that sucks, but I got a line. And can we talk about how beautiful this Honeycrisp apple is? You really need to try Honeycrisp apple. If you're like, I don't like apples. I've only tried red ones. That's why you don't like apple. I got some mandarins or like sort of cuties, but these aren't like the name brands, I don't think. Aren't they beautiful though? They're really pretty. And the last two were for my boyfriend. I got him some big tortillas for burritos that I make sometimes. I haven't made them in a while. I wanted to make him some breakfast burritos that way I could just heat them up in the morning and it'd be like an easy meal for him. And then I also got him some mustard because I introduced it to him and now he loves mustard. And he's really in his like hot dog moment, if you can tell. These are his buns. He's been eating hot dogs a lot lately. And yeah, that was it for the haul. Now let's make my fridge look like a beautiful Pinterest board. And here is a final look at the results of my fridge. Is it giving Pinterest? Maybe not exactly, but we did take it from this to this. And honestly, I'm happy with what we have. It feels a lot better. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Today will be yesterday. Tomorrow will be today. It's terrifying. But everything we did today And all the lists you've made Places you've been, things you've touched Are just a memory Don't let these moments just slip away